Hello everyone, it's PC Alper here and in this video I'll be showing you how to fix a major problem in the game Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC and the error is that the game exit with a message that the game exited unexpectedly. So since the release of the game, a lot of users have been reporting to me about this problem. So I've found probable fixes for this problem. So I'll be showing you all of them. So stick to the end of the video and I'm sure it will surely help you. So I've got four to five workarounds that are working for most of the users so each of the workaround is working for at least one or two users so none of the solution is useless so let's get started without any further ado so the first step is a really basic one but it's working for most of the users so don't take any of the steps lightly just perform every one of them so the first one is clean booting your PC it is really simple to clean boot your PC, but if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, I made a separate guide on how to do so. It's a quick guide of 2 minutes 45 seconds. I will provide you this link in the description of this video. You can access that video by just clicking on the link in the description of this video. So just watch this video and clean boot your PC and then proceed to the second step. Now let's come to the second step. Now I will be showing you the solution that's working for majority of users. So it is a really important one again. So I went to the official GTA forum of the game Red Dead Redemption 2 and I saw this post by this user. He wrote, I updated to Windows version 19.03 and it worked. No issues so far, only performance with my 1050 Ti isn't the best. So all you have to do is just update to Windows version 1.9.03. But if, if you have already updated to this version, then also I've got something for you. I again went to this forum and I found this. As you can see, this user wrote, I found a fix. If you are already on Windows 10, 1903, download Media Creator for Windows and do the upgrade. Now the game is working for me. So what I, you have to do is, so the first thing is, if you haven't already updated to Windows version 1903, just go to your settings and here, wait for it to load first. Now here, under settings, go to update and security. In update and security, you will find an update. Uh, it's taking too much time to load because my screen recorder is on right now. So here it is. As you can see, I am already having this update, Windows version 1903. But you have already updated. If you have already updated to this version of Windows, or if you are not finding any of the updates in your Windows Update tab, what you can do is you can download the update by Windows Media Creator tool. So I will provide you the link to download Windows Media Creator tool. You just have to open that link and you will be able to download this as you can see media creation tool 1903.exe and if you don't know how to use this i will also provide you the link of this article in this they have shown all the steps you have to perform to upgrade your windows with this tool so it's really simple to do so i will provide you this link too if you have any doubt regarding the installation of windows through this tool so that's it for this step now let's proceed to the third one now let's come to the next step. This was also submitted by one of the users on official forum of Red Dead Redemption 2. And in this solution, he tried everything, but what fixed for him was, he just went to the rdr2.exe file in his computer that he found in the directory of the game. And you have to do the same. Just right click on your rdr2.exe file and go to compatibility tab under it. And in compatibility tab, do as he has done. Just select run this program in compatibility mode for and select Windows 8. Then select disable display scaling on high DPI settings. Then run this program as an administrator. Apply these settings and click on OK. And that's it. So that's for it for this step. Now let's proceed to the next step. Now this step is again working for many users because it was the first working solution that came to this official forum as soon as this problem was discovered. So one user mentioned disable the hours. That is all you have to do is just disable your antivirus. For this user he was using Avast antivirus and he did so and many users confirm that can confirm this fix the problem and he add, just added an exception. So this user didn't disable the antivirus completely. He just added an exception for this game. But I would recommend you just disable the antivirus while you are playing the game. As you can see another user confirmed it worked thanks. So just disable your antivirus whatever you are using. But if you don't have any antivirus just disable Windows Defender. And to do so, just write in your search menu virus and threat protection and press enter and go to this first option. And now wait for it to load. Now click on manage settings and here turn off real time protection and it will ask your administrator pro permission. Just click on yes and close this too. And once you have done it, try running the game. Most probably your game will work fine. Now this step is again important as all the steps I'm mentioning are important ones. 
So both AMD and Nvidia released latest game ready drivers for this game that is Red Dead Redemption 2. So I will provide you both the links for AMD and Nvidia so that you can download the latest game ready drivers for them. So for AMD this, this, this is the link and for Nvidia users this is the link as you can see if I go back you can see game ready drivers for Red Dead Redemption 2. So I will provide you this link. You just have to click on download and download this 576 MB update and your game will most probably work fine. In the end I would also like to mention something more that is if you are able to launch the game but you are experiencing crashing issues in the middle of gameplay. So what is working for some of the users that is try running the game in full screen borderless. But if you are still experiencing crashing then try running the game in windowed mode. But if you are still experiencing the crashing try running the game in full screen. So what I mean is just try running different schemes like first try running in windowed mode but if it doesn't work try running in borderless full screen something will surely work for you because many users are reporting that it's something to do with the screen on which you are playing with so that's it for this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more also if you have any doubt write in the comment section thank you and have a nice day